Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Chuck. I'm a hairdresser and salon owner in Austin, Texas. And in today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how I use Fanola No Orange and No Yellow to create a beautiful silver tone that you can do at home. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Fanola No Yellow and Fanola No Orange. I'm going to be using these two to create some beautiful, beautiful silver tones on my blonde swatches here. Um, these are kind of a golden color. Um, I'm going to use the Fanola No Yellow and No Orange to totally neutralize the uh, warmth in these and create a gorgeous silver color. So if you're interested in learning how I do that, stay tuned, stick around, and let's have some fun. So starting off with Fanola No Yellow and a clear glass bowl. Just going to apply a little of the Fanola No Yellow in. So bringing in one of my yellow hair swatches, I am going to fully submerge that down into the Fanola No Yellow and get that covered and let it sit for about five minutes. While I'm mixing up, go ahead and hit the like button. It really helps my video out and I can't thank you enough. I'm just gonna go fully in there with it on everything. All right, we've got it completely saturated in there. And time up, let's go rinse. The bottom swatch here is the swatch that has not been colored. The top swatch has been used with only Fanola No Yellow. So that is just a really nice ashy blonde. The next step in this process is going to be Fanola No Orange. All right, you guys, I've got my Fanola No Orange and let's go ahead and put some into her bowl. All right, I've got a little bit of that in my bowl now. And we're going to, again, take our test swatch. So here are the swatches again, our control, and then our test swatch. And this is also now going to go into the Vanilla No Orange. All right, we're gonna take a dip now. Get everything fully saturated in here. Just gonna work it around really well. And as you can see, this one's got a lot more blue pigment. You can kind of see as I move it around the bowl, there's a ton of blue pigment to this one. So, it's going to give us our gray results. All right, so that's it. Time to process for about five minutes. All right, you guys, I am back. So I wanna remind you what that control swatch looks like. And here is the results. So here's those two side by side. Look how beautiful this is. 
it really, really went in and silvered out that yellowy, golden, brassy hair. It has completely neutralized all of that warmth and it's nice and silver now. And I know what you guys are wondering is what does it look like with just the no yellow? So I made one of those as well. I'm going to show you all those side by side now. So there's our three. It really just adds that silver right into that last swatch here. You can really see that silvery, whereas this is just more of a platinum blonde. And for those of you who are wondering, I also did one that was just the no orange. So you can see what that looks like. So here's our control swatch, no yellow, no orange. And then this is one that has had both applied. All right. And enough of this. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like in a lot of different light. All right, you guys, let's check it out. Here is the results. Um, I went ahead and did a few um, additional tests. So we've got our control swatch here, number one. Number two is no yellow on uh, for five minutes. Number three is no orange that was on for five minutes. Number four is no yellow for five minutes, then no orange for five minutes. And then this one was no yellow and no orange mixed together in one bowl. For 10 minutes and this is no yellow and no orange um, in separate bowls for 10 minutes each so this is the color results and I'm gonna go ahead and kind of move everything around and let you take a look you can really see how much of a difference it makes to separate the no yellow and no orange and do them in two separate steps it makes such a difference for the color so so pretty look how silver and just gorgeous the no yellow and no orange mixed together is it really really neutralizes out that orange or, or sorry that those golden tones um and really pushes through back to silver again now this is the the natural here or the the control swatch pretty warm so if you're not that warm naturally you're gonna get an even more silver result so 
that's it you guys that's that's the beautiful beautiful result from that I'm also going to go ahead and take it outside and show you as well what that looks like but that is the inside result underneath light <laughs> of course it's underneath light that is the inside result underneath my uh, studio lights <laughs>